Well, we watched a lot of players at Pro Day at the Ensley Center. This guy here, I think, can sling it a little bit and might have a chance at professional football, Ryan uh, Nassib. Uh, how's it going there? You're throwing the rock. Yeah, it's going well. Uh, <laughs> it was fun to come back and throw to those guys. Uh, you know, that did it for so long. And, yeah. you know, I, and uh, you know, now I've been, I've been away for a couple of years and you know, coming back, it, you know, it felt right. You know, it felt, yeah. it felt good. Now, full disclosure, the wide receivers have got to have somebody to catch passes from, and you can't use an underclassman. It's great to have a pro player that can come back and, and do it so you, you fit a, a great role and you're using NFL footballs and that type of thing. So uh, was that a pretty real, realistic uh, demonstration, you think, for the guys? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, they were running NFL routes, um, you know, playing with you – know, uh, catching the NFL ball and um, you know doing it in with you know all these scouts and stuff here and like kind of like in an NFL pressure environment so um, overall, overall, uh, overall I think they did great uh, definitely wish I had a few throws back um, <laughs> definitely made their jobs a little harder than they needed to be but uh, um, yeah, overall, I think they did great. Well, you're a tough grader, but you said you even had your juices flowing a little bit out there. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it was just it was just fun, just uh, get thrown with those guys that, you know, we, we used to do that, you know, all summer long and stuff. And now, uh, you know, have another chance to do that. It was, it was pretty cool. Well, Ryan, in the time you've been gone, the thing that's most noticed here is the idea of stability. Ryan Nassib was the starting quarterback every game for three years. You were there, and you can really uh, notice the difference when you're gone. How about f from your standpoint now? You're two years in pro ball, and I know you're in a very unique situation uh, behind Eli Manning where there just aren't a lot of opportunities. Yeah, uh, you know, stability is huge. And, um, I mean, uh, right now, um, you know, I, so, uh, my role is a, is a backup quarterback or competing for the backup quarterback position. Um, and but that doesn't just because I'm the backup doesn't mean you know you, you can't prepare like you're going to start because at any given uh, any given moment you can be the guy. So uh, right now I'm just biding my time, uh, waiting for an opportunity to uh, you know uh, you know become a starter. Um, but right now I'm just learning as much as I can, um, just preparing uh, both mentally and physically. And um, so that when that opportunity does come, I'll be ready for it. All right, two more quick ones. Any message that you gave to the guys? Uh, forget about X's and O's, but about life in the National Football League? Um, you know, you know, a lot of it, um, I just say, hey, don't forget what got you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the hard work you, you've done here in Syracuse for the four years, just, you know, just carry that with you to the next level because uh, – it's that hard work that's going to, you know, help you. It's going to what decides whether if you make a team or, you know, uh, you know how successful you are. And lastly, congratulations are in order in your personal life. Yep, I just got, uh, just got engaged. <laughs> As he looks yeah. over the shoulder at Maddie, the better half yeah, is looking yeah. on. Uh, yep, uh, she's very, extremely lucky. Um, <laughs> and no, I don't no. think she. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. So we just got engaged. Uh, next part of our lives. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. All right, great to see you. All Best right. of luck. All right, man. Take care.